Today we need to get into V being mocked for his manhood and what people are saying about this. The sort of feminization of a K-pop idol. We also have a V getting shamed for his weight and his body. And then people saying that there are nude moments of him recently at the camp. And then we have a moment where V did something that reminded people of Jungkook's tattoos. So you don't to stay to say hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, his play mug merch, and let's go. So there's a lot of conversation about a specific Jungkook tattoo and what V was doing recently and what is going on with all that. There was a magazine cover that had come out with V doing W Magazine. This was absolutely a gorgeous shoot and I think it was for the first time ever that armies and fans got to see V be a little bit more creative in terms of his style and fashion. We've seen him do very creative looks but these looks that he was doing were extremely different and he was mixing both feminine and masculine and playing around with different textures and it was just gorgeous. He did a specific shot where it was very close to his face and you could see that there was a tiger lily right by his ear. Now tiger lilies are very much rich in meaning and it's very important for me to talk about the meaning of this flower before I get into it because it's relevant. Now the meaning of the flower is that it's supposed to represent prosperity, strength, and wealth. It resembles a cultural reference of abundance and pride Something very important to note is that one of Jungkook's tattoos is actually this tiger lily. So it's clear that the flower means a lot to him as well, and one that he definitely wanted to put on his body to resemble his growth, his change, and something that was very important to him. There's a lot of people that were making the comparison between what V had in his photo shoot to what Jungkook's tattoo was. A lot of people like to believe this idea that when V does anything, he's making references to Jungkook. Keep in mind when an artist is working with a stylist for a photo shoot or whatever it is, they do have some say in how they're represented. They represent and who and what they're next to. So when they're alongside a shirt with a specific word, they likely had a say as to whether or not that word gets put on them or whether it would actually represent them well or not. And if they feel like it doesn't, they probably are allowed to not wear it within good reason, obviously. This is completely different from a model or someone whose career is bound to the clothes they wear. When it's an idol and a celebrity, they have the right to turn down who they want to stand next to. And if they go by this specific message, right, a specific model that's on the runway isn't going to be held accountable for the words that's on their shirt. Like most people are aware that word is coming from the designer, not the model. Whereas an artist or a singer, they are representing the words that's on their clothes. Now, a lot of people are making the comparison between V having a tiger lily in the W Magazine photo versus Jungkook getting that tattoo, saying that they must be dating or that they're together because they're both a fan of the tiger lily. This is a very interesting comparison because knowing how I am, at least with my friends, when my friends do something and it turns out really well and I actually like the thing that they're doing or representing, I may take a swing at it too. I might do it as well. If I see a family member doing something like that I like and like the message of, I might incorporate that into what I do as well. And that's just how life is. We are a mosaic of every single person that we've ever met. And so while we could say no to wearing tiger lilies on his face or behind his ear, why would he say no just because Jungkook wore it? So naturally he would say yes, but does that mean that the two are actually together or dating? There's always so much being talked about online and a lot of people have many different opinions about many different things. It's what makes a person famous when they composed one thing and then have like either 12 different conversations being made about them or 12 different controversies and sometimes both at the same time. They become worldwide famous. It's not just one topic that's being talked about of you. It's usually 50 conversations is happening at once. That tends to snowball the artist or the celebrity into mainstream stardom. One of those conversations is naturally going to be involving a specific body part and his manhood, which I think was very interesting. For a long time on the Twitter or X search bar, a very interesting search was there for a long time. The search involved a specific body part of V and people either mocking or praising the specific body part. This involved clips of him sitting down in which people were staring at him. And then of course it involved other moments of people saying that it's not big enough and that makes him a woman. And thus of course that is what we're going to talk about today because the praise is interesting. I don't know if he would be comfortable necessarily with people screenshotting and recording videos of that moment. However, I think the latter saying how people are insulting him because of that is just as bad for everyone. There's been a lot of people trying to feminize the men of K-pop 
K-pop. This makes sense because the men of K-pop tend to do things with flowers. They'll tend to be slimmer. They'll tend to be more quote-unquote feminine features. However, to go after someone's privates like that and have a full-blown conversation about that is really sick and disgusting for men everywhere because I think a lot of men tend to compare themselves to other men rather than actually like the women or other people caring about that specific body part. I think it's harmful for men everywhere to see comments like this being made. Asian men are notoriously already mocked for their, let's say, body part size. We don't need to see it within the fandom and within people who supposedly like K-pop but are insulting this specific K-pop idol. There are even interesting fanfics that I can't even post here or really talk about that will make it seem like Jungkook is like the manly men in a relationship and that Taeyang is actually a woman with a vagina. While I think that fantasies are fine and you can have your own decision as to what kind of stories you would like to make up, however in this situation in which K-pop men and Asian men specifically are already seen kind of like women, I don't think that is setting a very good precedent when it's posted online for a lot of people to see. Now, no hate to these people. I don't think they're purposely trying to mock or do anything bad, but a lot of people would consider it mocking. I just want to say that we need to be careful when we start to take away the manhood of a man and what that can even do if he ever saw that. Imagine he would feel a little bit uncomfortable. However, we should be excited that we are seeing a little bit of an update from V, and I think that made people very excited. He recently just posted on Weverse where he said he'll be giving an interim report, and that report was basically what his weight is currently. He weighed about 60 kg before he went to the military, and now he weighs around 70 kg. So I think that's like 130 pounds, and now it's closer to like 160 pounds, which is a lot bigger. That makes sense. Obviously, he's in the military. He's going to be working out, and he's going to be gaining a lot of muscle mass. So people were very excited to hear this because this probably means that he's going to look very buff. People were comparing pictures of like Ryan Reynolds and how Ryan Reynolds has the abs and then saying like that's 70 kg of muscle, what it looks like. People were then also saying that V probably has a lot of shirtless muscle pictures on his phone that are in the drafts and he will probably post them in the future sometimes and people are going to be freaking out. People were then also scared of if anyone was going to be posting or any soldiers were going to be taking pictures of V naked in the shower or naked anywhere. And of course, I don't know if we necessarily should worry about that because I haven't seen too much of that in general with the other members. So I don't know if there's going to be a lot of people that are going to do that also. They would also probably get in big trouble if they did that. But it also doesn't stop people from talking about it, which I think is what a lot of people are saying would happen, is that there's going to be a lot of soldiers or people in the military talking about how good his body looks recently. However, judging by these weights, and by what V posted, we already know that his body looks good. But V has recently been very much shamed for his body before he decided to like go to the military. People like to shame him over the idea that V has chosen to diet as opposed to working out, similar to how Jungkook has. And it talks about if V wants to have abs or really look good, he should be working out and lifting as opposed to just dieting. Also then calling V really lazy. I want to first off say dieting is nowhere near lazy. In fact, dieting is probably extremely hard to do. Meal prep is hard work. To even fight the urge to eat junk food or go eat like good food is not something that a lazy person would be able to do because that takes a lot of actual energy and deliberate effort. We also know that V is looking probably a lot more buff lately and this probably means that he probably won't go back to a similar physique that he originally had. You have to keep in mind V's goals probably was never to have abs and, ne and to never look like that. I think that is something that we have to note is that not everyone wants the beauty standard. It doesn't really suit everyone. Not everyone wants to look ripped. Also, not everyone's type is someone who is ripped. Some people genuinely also look better when they're more pudgier. Also, with V's promotion and his album, he was probably going for a look that was going to be a lot more relatable to a lot of people. The fact that we may see him a lot more buff in the future after the military, that's just going to be how he's just going to look going forward. However, if he wanted to look like that when he was doing his album promotion, Hybe would have prepared a trainer for him to look like that. Bottom line is, that was never his goal. However, it was Jungkook's goal, and thus Jungkook did it. We've already evolved so far as to not shame women's bodies. Let's not start shaming men's bodies now. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.